Hello, Taurus. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time, my friends. I appreciate you. That I do. I'm looking at cards right here. I just saw the, the, the Knight of Cups. You know, that's the lover. And then I saw Nine of Pentacles, which is my independent, self-assured, confident business person. Somebody that's single, somebody that's single because they choose to be single. And I've been reading for Taurus for a minute right here, you know, for some kind of on again, off again relationship. Could be some change in that. Anyway, let me get let me get back on target right here. I want to thank you for tuning in. I, I appreciate you uh, reaching out, hitting that old like button while you're thinking about it. And, I appreciate all my Tauruses that have reached out and touched that subscription button and turned it into that beautiful gray, you know. And uh, for the other ones where that button's still red, you know, the question is, why is it red? Hmm? <laughs> Definitely want to thank all my Taurus that have reached out and blessed them with donations. Many of you, very kind of you, Taurus, you are always quite the givers, my empresses. Thank you so very much. I appreciate them all, large or small. And definitely I want to shout out and thank all my Rambler Nation members. Mwah, I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support month after month. Appreciate everything you do. Uh, definitely want to take a minute and talk about memberships with Rambler Nation um, and some of the perks. One of the perks is that uh, these days um, I only read for members. So if you're interested in a private reading with me, the best way is to show up on Wednesday nights. Private little parties that I have with Ramblin' Nation every Wednesday night, where the first thing I talk about is my availability for private readings, the pricing for private readings, and how to contact me for private readings. I've been talking with my members about that since the beginning, but many don't know that. So that's definitely a perk if you'd like a reading with me. Also, you know, we have parties every Wednesday night. Well, I like to bring I like to bring gifts to the old tarot party. Lots of t-shirts, winner winner chicken dinner, ooey gooey soft and chewy t-shirts, oh cartoon Ramblin' Mike right here, Ramblin' Mike's tarot. I uh, give away four t-shirts every Wednesday night. Um, and this month, September, there's five Wednesdays. So that's 20 t-shirts that were given away this month. Also, I like to give away tarot and oracle decks. Every Wednesday night, I give away two. Again, five Wednesdays. That's, <laughs> that's 10 tarot decks and oracle decks that we've given away this month. On the 16th, going to be giving away uh, the steampunk tarot. I love this thing. It's an amazing deck. Also, on the 16th, <clears throat> at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Going to be giving away the Alchemy England Tarot to one of my lucky members of Ramblin' Nation. On the 23rd, going to be giving away the Mystical Manga Tarot. And, uh, you know, for those of you that are in the know, these are both Barbara Moore, you know. And to me, she's the queen of tarot. Amazing decks, amazing books. Also on the 23rd, going to be giving away the Manga Tarot by Los Cabero, you know, all that amazing anime art is on those decks right there. And on the 30th, the last day of the month, the last Wednesday, going to be giving away two adult decks, the Casanova Tarot and the Tarot of Sexual Magic. So if you've been thinking about hitting that join button, go ahead and do it right now. It should be uh, right there beside the subscription button, there should be a join button right there. If there is not, there is always a membership link in the description area of all my videos. So I will see many of you Wednesday night, huh? All right, Taurus, let's do it, man. These cards definitely want to talk right here. I feel change coming in from my Taurus. Change coming in, maybe done with this on again, off again game that uh, many of my Taurus has been playing. Let's tune in. Hey, Terry Love Team, Taurus is here to play with us. Let's tell them what 
They need to know most of their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Taurus see and hear what they need out of this amazing reading. Let's take all these amazing pictures. Put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Taurus High School. I was looking at all these cards. I saw the star. I saw the world card. I'm seeing major arcanas coming out here. Thank you so very much for that source. I can't do this without you. Appreciate you, love team. Appreciate you, my guys. Here we go. Cutting the cutting the deck for Taurus. Taurus, I'm going to do this a little different this time. A little freestyle. Why not, huh? Hey, Dove Team. All right, all right. What do we got for Taurus right here? Thank you. Thank you so very much. First card out. Oh, got an Ace of Cups. That's all about a new beginning in love. Definitely about a direct connect with the divine. That's where that agape love is that we're looking for anyway. That God kind of love. That unconditional love, you know. Whoever sources to you. For me, it's my nana and my papa on the other side, you know. Ooh, they're crazy about old rambling. And I love them too. Ace of Cups can be about self-love. Loving yourself first and foremost. Ace of Cups can be about love and all the possibilities thereof coming in here for you. Ace of Cups can be about unspoken love, being spoken. It's a nice uh, card coming out here from a Taurus, the old... Ace of Cups. What do we got? What's coming out for Taurus? Well, the full card, Taurus. <laughs> it's all about that fresh start, that leap of faith, that new beginning. It's Uranus, the planet of sudden change. Hey, look out. You're about to step off the love cliff. But the fool's always... Well, I was laying on my feet anyway. Case of Ra, Sera, whatever will be, will be. Geronimo, here I go. You can see the fool right there in the Terra Illuminati staring at a, a new cup of love. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I like it, I like it. Let some sun come and shine on my Taurus love team. Here we go. What do we got coming in here for Taurus? Eight cups. <clears throat> Eight Cups talks about walking away from something that's no longer emotionally fulfilling to you. Heading out to go find your ninth cup. Oh, it's right here on the spread already. That ninth cup of wish fulfillment. Yeah, um, we got that. You know, it's got a big giant moon up there. We got a new moon in Virgo coming up on the 17th. And also, Jupiter is going to go direct. That planet of expansion and good luck on the 12th of September. Going to let something go from what I can see. And, you know, I mean, I saw that energy. And that's what I do. If I, you know, if, if old Ramblin's playing with somebody that's on again, off again, you know, this is just my personal life. And they're on again, off again, and all that. I just as soon play off again. I'm deuces. It's it's been fun, really. You can't figure out what you want, you know. You know, and I, these journeys are all about self worth and realizing how amazing you are, with or without that person, right? Eight cups right here on this spread. I'm looking at the chariot. That's a major arcana. Cancer may mean something to you, may not. It's about moving in a new direction. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, because, you know, the old wild ponies right there. It could be, you know, I see it a lot. The old soulmate, twin flame, life partner energy. But if they're not loving on you right, mm -mm, mm -mm. you know, it's all about self-love and self-worth, realizing how amazing you are. How am I, Empress? Male or female? But uh, somebody's tuned into the divine right there, driving their chariot exactly where they wanted to go. That old, you know, coming out of the city, may pull you out of your comfort zone a little bit, splashing through all those emotions of life right there. Forward movement, I would say away from the devil. The devil showed up here. 
It's Capricorn, may mean something to you, may not. But this is that card about releasing yourself from self-imposed bondage. It is the lovers upside down, if you ask old Ramblin'. One person's waking up. The other one's still fast asleep in this picture right here. Definitely uh, moving forward, walking away from something that's no longer serving you for your highest good. Behind the devil, you know, I got fighting and arguing, five of wands, possible competition with other lovers. I mean, it is the devil right here. Definitely getting in the chariot, moving in a new direction. The fool card jumping out of Ace of Cups, and I got a King of Love that came out right here. This is nice, man. This is uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, this is somebody that would have deep, deep feelings for you. You know, love. It's the King of Love, male or female, but may not have showed you how deeply they really feel for you. <laughs> Looks like somebody's going to get in their chariot right here. Somebody. I got the hermit card. It's Virgo. All these major arcanas out, all coming after the Ace of Cups. And the Fool is a fresh start, a new beginning, a leap of faith. Walking away from something that's no longer emotionally fulfilling to you. I'm loving this for you. And there's the devil right there. You know, the devil's not emotionally fulfilling. You know, they're full of five of wands, competition for love, possibly fighting and arguing, you know, the tussle card right there. And that five's about change. Change, you know, because that's contrast in love. And I know it's challenging to, to remember, but when we're going through contrast, it's really our friend, you know, because it shows us what we don't want so that we can set our intentions and move towards what we do want. Got the hermit card right there. Could, could, could be my Taurus, you know, going inside, doing the inner work, healing your heart, healing your mind. Finding the star down inside yourself, that star of great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. This is a card about astrological alignments moving on your behalf. It's about being led and guided by the divine. It's a very spiritual card. And many times when we play in this world right there, the only way out, see the hermit has got his lantern shining on all of that right there the only way out is to go to the divine and be like can can you get me out of this miry clay right here and they'd be like oh baby come on get up and be like oh my god yeah yeah thank you so very much look at what's coming out right here i love it man it's, it's beautiful for you taurus it's six cups that's a, you know, a past life lover. Maybe you haven't met him. Maybe you have. That's this king of love right over here, male or female, the chariot, forward movement. Definitely pulling you out of your comfort zone. No doubt about that. But what's coming here for you? I like it. Six of cups, you know. It's, it's sweet thoughts and nostalgia when times are good and things are sweet. I think it's the so king of love about you. Maybe they're going to get in their chariot right here. And move towards you. Help, help you to release yourself from that self-imposed bondage. Which, you know, Source has been talking with you about. And they do. They do. Papa, Papa and Nana, you know. They whisper in our ears. Or whoever Source is to you, right? They whisper in our ears. They'll be like, they're not being good to you. They're not loving on you right. You know, you need to let it go. And, uh, you know. Uh, they're talking to my Taurus right here. I'm also talking to a friend over here. <laughs> this little king of love, man, because they got sweet thoughts and nostalgia when times are good and things are sweet. Yeah, one more major arcana, Taurus. I got the death card. Scorpio energy. May mean something to you. May not lots of major arcana, so. That is uh, death, birth, and resurrection, transformation for my Taurus right here.
Um, all these majors, man. You know, the death card on on the devil. Uh, the hermit going inside, making sure, you know, I'm, 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 I'm listening to source. Uh, and then I got the chariot and the fool. So this is Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Aquarius, Aries. May mean something to you, may not. Eight wands, here comes some communication. Here comes Cupid's arrows of love flying through the air. <laughs> for my for my Taurus. You know, who's sitting under the old oak tree right there, more than likely, looking at love right now. You know, past, present, projected, future. Oh, there's the golden cup. There's the golden cup. I don't know if I want to get up and tie that old yellow ribbon around that old oak tree. I think I'm just going to sit here for a minute and think about it all. Uh, you know, there's not much to think about in my opinion. Because, uh, you know, it's, there's the devil and there's the chariot. <laughs> and there's the king of love and there's five of wands down here. There's six of cups up here, and there's the hermit down here thinking about it all, man, you know. And there's solid communication coming in, eight wands, keep its arrows of love flying through the air, because they got sweet thoughts and nostalgia when times are good and things are sweet, probably with the Taurus. Maybe this is somebody that knew you before. Maybe. Could be somebody new. And then I got the reevaluation card right there. Four cups. And then boom. A death cycle. A death cycle. A death cycle. I love it, man. Somebody's been watching you. Right here. Right here. The Princes of Swords. Somebody's been watching you right there. They don't like the world they're in without you. They're all up in their head. They're discombobulated. Because they've been holding on to you with their heart chakra. The feeling closed off from you. I like it, man. I like it. And Seven of Wands is right there, huh? That's somebody that's going to stand up and do what's best for them. Choosing the path that they're going to go down. They don't care who likes or who don't like it, huh, Taurus? And, you know, going to have to block somebody out here, too. The old devil right there. Let's play with the Witch's Tarot right here. I feel good. I love this energy right here. I've been reading Taurus's cards for a while. Man, <laughs> go get in your chariot. Uh, this person could live at a little bit of a distance from you. My old six of cup are up here, this old king of love. They could live at a little bit of a distance from you because the chariot and eight wands are there. So it could just be some communication coming in that's got old Taurus sitting under the old tree. You know, should I let go of, you know, <laughs> should I let go of all this bliss? That's not bliss. <laughs> source, source, you know, source. I see it. He's going to be talking with Source about it. Nana, Papa, whoever that is to you. And then, boom. Change. Major change coming from my Taurus. All right. All right. I love this, man. I love it. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, bottom of the deck. I just saw it right there, man. Two of Cups. That's about a new beginning. A new beginning with a soulmate, twin flame, life partner right here. Could be platonic, too, you know. I mean, that's only a two. Could have just been friends at one time. But this is a friend that got some deep feelings for you, king of love, right there. And look, it's coming. There's the lover. I would say you probably make their heart go boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. Hi, Taurus. Here's my cup. Let's shake these cards up a little bit, you know, because I'm looking at the old river of tears right there, and that's what the devil will do. They'll spill the damn cups. Somebody's looking at two cups right over here. Four cups, five of cups. I see processing. I'm going to put that out there. I'm going to shake these up a little bit. I'm going to shake them up right here. Those are off the bottom of the deck. It's going, going with the flow right here. What's that? Ten of Pentacles. 
What? <laughs> that is the quintessential universal dream to Ramblin'. The little white picket fence, the big pink house, the loving couple. There they are, the wisdom of the years. There's the Hierophant with the little with the little baby right there showing them the star. Doggies, loyalty, money in the bank. There's a new beginning coming in here, and it's powerful, Taurus. It's powerful. It's definitely about you releasing yourself from some self-imposed bondage right there. And again, four of cups off of the bottom of the deck, the reevaluation card. Hi, Taurus. I have this cup right here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of sitting on a tree for a minute. Just think about all. <laughs> Just think about all this right now. Oh, seven of swords. Look at that. Oh my God. Look what's coming out here. Seven of swords. The old liar cheater. It's got to be the devil. And then ten of swords and ten of wands. Done. Ending of a very painful cycle. Ending of a very burdensome cycle. May not be there yet. See, on the destination to that castle, huh? There it is up there. And that's about a new day dawning. <clears throat> wow. Four of wands after all that. Four of wands up here with two of cups, six of cups. This is pretty special up here. And that it is. Could have been some kind of, I don't know, uh, dare I say false twin. And that happens. That happens, you know, it's source working with us and all of that. I know many people that have experienced that. Definitely an ending down here. The death card, ten of wands, ten swords with old swordsy right over here. You know, this is somebody with a broken heart and a half-assed plan. And one thing's for sure, if you're dealing with old seven of swords and the devil, this is the liar cheater card. And if you're dealing with that. If you're dealing with a liar, it's pretty it's pretty easy to figure out you're going to be lied to. Enough of that. Uh, this Taurus is done with that. Here's Here comes the, uh, the Page of Wands. It's about a passion and new beginning. Hi, Taurus. Hi, Taurus. <laughs> Want to go play a little bit? I love it, man. And the Judgment card coming out here. And the witch's tarot. And it's called karma here. Definitely cleared some karma out here. Mm. Definitely did. Definitely I've been reading your cards all year, man. I've been waiting for this breakthrough for you, Taurus. And here it is, man. Here it is. And this is judgment, you know, and it's your judgment call. And I've seen it too. Two four of cups, you know, the reevaluation of it all. And the processing. And, and that can be challenging if you were dealing with somebody. This is a strong soulmate connection right here with the devil. You know, the chains that bind. But uh, those chains are being broken right there anymore. I, um, interesting what I'm looking at right here. I'm looking at the emperor. You know, that's stability. Sacred masculine energy. I like this emperor, you know, because he's looking at these characters right here, these six of cuppers. That's what they, they remind me of right there. The two children right there. They remind me of that six of cups. And then there's that ace of cups right there. This one, at the start of the reading. And this emperor right here, you know, this could be somebody that could be quite successful in life with Ten of Pentacles as well. You know, that would help with the power couple, wouldn't it? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of money. And stability, you know, stability right here with this emperor. I like that emperor card. And, and, who's, he, and who's he looking at right here? He's looking at his queen of love. Looking, looking at his queen of love right there, man. Who's this? This is my empath. This one with psychic abilities, my dreamer, my healer. 
holds that cup dear to her heart. I love it. I, you know, I, I see something new coming in here for you. You know, the magician manifesting a whole new beginning, but there's a tower. There's a tower that's coming here because of the five of wands. And I would say too, because of six pinnacles right here, lack of equal give and take. And here comes justice. Wow. This is the sword that cuts the ties that bind right there. Wow, what a reading, man. What a reading. And then after that comes eight cups, eight wands. Wow. Wow. That's forward movement. Moving in a new direction. Cutting tiles with the old devil right there. Here we go. Let's play with Mystic Moon. Wow, Taurus. Wow. Okay, okay. I'm glad this on again, off again game is done. Because that can be exhausting. Lord have mercy, man. All right, here we go. This is beautiful energy coming in here for you. Uh, they're coming in, you know, kind of playful and nonchalant. But I think they want the real McCoy. Right there. Wow. And, you know, and there's that Ten Pentacles there, too. I mean, look. This uh, emperor is looking at all of this. This is gorgeous, man. Wow. All right. But they're coming in carefree and fun. And I like it. I like it. Hi, Taurus. Want to go have some fun? I like it, man. I like it. I like it. All right. All right. Mystic Moon. What do we got here for Taurus? A pause. A pause. You know, both those four cups. That's good. That's good. I mean, that's the way to do it, right? One step at a time. Hmm. One step at a time. I've been reading your cards for a doggone year, you know. On again, off again. Lord help us all, man. I'm just going to take a pause right here and look at this. All good, man. Yeah. Separation came out. I wonder, you know, if there was separation over here. Probably. Six of Cuppers. That's the norm. At first. Looks like there ain't going to be much of that. <laughs> here we go, man. I'm loving this for Taurus. And look at Surrender came out. <laughs> Oh, 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 hearts are going boom, da -dee, boom, da -dee, boom, boom, boom. Look at this, man. Oh, 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 Lord, help us all, man. Beautiful love spread right here. But, you know, you got to clear this energy right now. Got to clear that energy right now. And there it is. There's solitude. It's spending time with Source. That's that hermit card. Where'd it go? Yeah, there it is right there. Spending time with Source, Source, lead me and guide me. I love it, man. It's a beautiful spread, Taurus. I'm happy for you, man. I am. Challenging, though. We got a damn tower right here that needs to be taken care of. But it's going to. Ten swords and ten wands, man. Death card. Major transformation for you, huh? That's death card, man. Can be a little painful, but... Let's get on the chariot right there. Look at heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Jumped out right there. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You're going to be having some heart-to-heart -heart conversations with somebody right over here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Somebody you may have been separated from. I got to let your friends help you. You know? I hope you do have some good friends that, can, that you can go talk to about this. Because, you know, you probably need to talk with somebody about this. <laughs> Look at the passion. The passion between these two, these six of cuppers and two of cuppers. <laughs> and, and the deception over here. Lord have mercy, man. Because you deserve love. Look at this spread. This is fun, man. You deserve love, man. Look, there's romantic feelings. Somebody's feeling their feelings over here. You know why? Because there's new love coming in here for you, Taurus. New love. This is a, a new person has stirred you 
romantic feelings. <laughs> Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Release your ex and flirt. <laughs> oh, man. Do I love a good love reading? I do, man. All right, here we go. What do we got for Taurus? There's my empress. Where's my emperor? He's over here. He was waiting. He was waiting for the empress to show up the whole time. Got an emperor and an empress right here. She's all about new beginnings in abundance. Oh, I see the coin over here too, man. New beginnings in love. She's always birthing something new and creative. And, you know, we know who the empress is, huh, Taurus? I love it for you, man. It's gorgeous. What do we got right here? One more. One more. And the chariot. And the chariot. Forward movement. Yeah! <laughs> towards victory with the lovers right there there's only two of them in this picture you see them in the heavenlies and you see them reflecting in the water you see all that ooey gooey soft and chewy pouring out of them right there Taurus and then there's judgment phoenix from the ashes the star you don't get the star unless you've been through hell fire Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I know I did. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Taurus. Bye for now.